this feels like the real first year, if you will. Um, last semester was kind of a mishmash of everything all done together, but this feels like the normal, if you will. Um, certainly looking forward to getting things started uh, on Friday. Um, this meet is the, also serves as the, um, you know, the course preview for the Big East Championships that will be taking place in about eight weeks from now. So an opportunity to go see the course that will be on two months later for the, for the real deal. Um, looking forward to seeing the, some of the newcomers. Uh, we're going to run a mixed squad this weekend, some of our A squad, some of our B squad. Uh, but looking forward to seeing some of our new faces and see how they look for the first time out in a competition setting. Oh, absolutely. I think there is a, certainly a psychological edge to go there and see what we're going to be competing on in two months down the road. You know, we didn't have that last spring with the Big East meet being down in North Carolina. In hindsight, I, you know, I think we would definitely would have wanted to go down there earlier if we had the opportunity. Just didn't have that opportunity last spring. But now that the Big East is Big East Championship is almost in our backyard, if you will, I'm um, certainly we're going to shoot over there, a couple hour drive, check it out, and then you know perhaps make some different type of training plans based on what we see over there uh, for the remaining two months of the season before the championships. Yeah, on the women's side, it's certainly nice to have Courtney back. Uh, we did have uh, quite a few talented women um, that were kind of sidelined last spring that were they're returning that should be, uh, you know, would have been part of our top seven last year, but for various injury reasons weren't part of our top seven. So not only do we have Courtney back, but we have uh, two, three girls that were sidelined that are going to immediately factor into our top five uh, this fall. And uh, on the men's side, it was great to retain Brady. Um, came coming back for finishing up a little bit of extra school here. Um, so good leadership up front, and then we got a nice four pack of freshmen kind of getting settled into college, getting sent into college training, and then you know pretty soon here getting their first college race. You the, the four pack of freshmen have done very well. They're constantly training together and really close to upperclassmen. So that's great to see. As far as a returner. I would say uh, Adrian Stufan. He's made some significant gains uh, in the past month. Um, on the women's side, uh, Sydney Caprol, big gains in the past uh, past year with us. Uh, Hannah uh, Parker Hopkins has done really well, and um, we've got a couple new transfer women. Uh, we'll see how they factor into things. Again, only been here a month, and we'll see how they settle into our training. You know, it's good to have uh, another staff member uh, on uh, with us here on campus. Uh, someone to lean on a little bit more. Um, she does have previous head coaching experience, leadership experience, which is going to be great to have, help elevate our program, as long with, along with her uh, strength conditioning certification. So while we have a great strength conditioning staff here at the university, it's also nice to have someone on our own particular staff that can also elevate that area as well. It's, you know, against the opener. It's not necessarily the, the you know, uh, the big meet of the year, if you will. It's more of a uh, scrimmage of sorts. But to go out there, see our newcomers compete, see what they kind of look like, uh, and then get, like I said get earlier, get, get eyes on the course. And if we see anything unique out there that we want to make some training adjustments for over the next two months, we have the opportunity to do so. Looking forward to it.